Hey my beautiful Taurus peeps, what's going on everybody? It's Anne from Cancer Moon's Tarot and I'm coming at you with your June 2023 tarot reading. How are you? I hope all is well. I just want to mention before we get started, if you're interested in personal readings, products, and so much more, feel free to check out my website, cancermoonstarot.com. It's going to be the first link in the description box below. But Taurus, how are we doing? I hope you guys are doing well. And let's see what's going on here for you regarding your June 2023. So what do we got showing up here, please, for the zodiac sign of Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout June 2023. What information is popping on in here for you? Two of Swords did decide to randomly come out. Uh, this is the card about having to make a choice. It could be like a tricky situation, a tricky choice. Um, you might be kind of finding yourself stuck between a rock and a hard place on trying to decide something. I think that the best thing to always do is go what initially feels right. So don't get caught up in ego. Don't get caught up in external opinions. Just... If you feel stuck, what is the first thing that comes to mind that feels right for you? You know, that would be my best advice in a situation like that. But we're going to go ahead and tie it out with one more shuffle. And then we'll begin your reading here for June 2023. What do we got going on here for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Starting out here with the overall energy, we have the Five of Swords showing up. Taking a look here at the current energy in June, King of Cups, what you're dealing with this month, the star, and then the current outcome, we're looking at a Ten of Pentacles showing up here as well. So first things first, Five of Swords, it could be a card here of kind of feeling like you have to defend yourself or you might feel like you're kind of backed into a corner. So if you're poking the bear, in this case, if you're poking the bull, you're inevitably here going to get kicked or thrown off. So I kind of do feel like somebody here could be not intimidating you because nobody's intimidating you at all, but someone could be egging you on is the word that I'm looking for. I'm trying to find out like what's the opposite of intimidation. Like what is that word I'm looking for when someone's egging you on, but it just won't come to mind. Either way, somebody here is bugging you. And I do feel with the King of Cups, you have been quite tamed and quite reserved. So Taurus, no matter how much somebody here has been trying to get under your skin, you haven't been giving them the power. You haven't been giving them much. Now, looking at what you're dealing with this month, the star card. Star card is healing. And it can be the card of alignment, and naturally it is, but I feel like particularly in this situation, it's healing because you've really been through a lot to the point where it's like, I have learned what's worth giving my energy to and what's not. So coming into June, you're not giving your energy to somebody here at all. I feel like they are trying to poke the bull, but at the end of the day, you just don't really care. It's like, you can poke me as many times as you want. You're not getting a reaction out of me because I've been through enough to know what's worth fighting for, what's worth getting, you know, down and dirty with, what's worth fighting over and what isn't. So you're at a point right now where somebody's kind of just being irrelevant to you at this moment in time, to put it bluntly, you know, looking at the outcome here, 10 of pentacles, I got way too much good shit going on for me right now than having to deal with some drama or deal with somebody here who wants to poke the bull. Okay. So you're ignoring someone currently is what I'm feeling here so far. Uh, why is this person like, what's the intention behind this person trying to get a rise at a Taurus? Ace of swords, the chariot and the six of swords. Ace of Swords is like communication. It could be like the truth, though, but I don't feel like this is about somebody trying to pry the truth out of you. I feel like this is somebody just trying to talk to you because they want to be a part of your path. They want to be getting back in. I, I'm kind of hearing like somebody wants to get back involved with you, like they want to get back in your life. So chances are this is somebody you probably already have cut off and they're trying to work their way back into your life right now at this time. But Taurus, you're very uninterested is what I'm seeing here. And like they know that just by simply asking you, that's not going to get them back into your life. So they're taking the negative approach of like, let me poke Taurus. You know what I mean? Let me just egg on Taurus, try to get a rise out of Taurus, because if I can get their attention in that manner, then maybe I have a chance here of working things through with them. So I do feel like someone here is using deceptive method or methods seven of swords to try to work their way back into your life. But how is Taurus reacting to this? We have here the seven of wands. You're just not putting up with it. Ten of cups. You're doing you instead. You're focusing on the good stuff you got going on. So you're really not giving into this person in the slightest. Okay. So I do see that being a situation arising coming into June, 2023. Now let's have a look here and see what's going to be showing up in your challenge position for the month of June. We had a flip card come out, and that's going to be the Ten of Wands showing up here for you. So I think the challenge, Taurus, is that despite all that you've healed from with the Star card, there is still a lot to work through. But I think that's okay, because I think that the best way to kind of view this challenge is that I am a work in progress. So I've made a lot of progression. 
I have progressed and the work keeps on going and I'm going to keep on doing my best. So Taurus, I wouldn't even see this as a challenge having stuff going on right now. We have a flip card over here too. I didn't even notice King of Swords. Nice. Yeah. King of Swords is the energy of being disciplined, the energy of having hard work. So guys, the more that you keep on acknowledging that you're a work in progress, you're human. You don't have to be this superhuman who is perfect and healed from everything and is happy 24 seven. You're a fucking human. You got feelings. You got emotions. Everybody he's got shit going on that they're dealing with no one's perfect so don't put so much pressure on yourself to let everything go and to be in the most amazing and high vibrational status this month seriously just be you right however you feel is how you feel whatever you're dealing with is what you're dealing with as long as you're doing something about it you're doing great that's the way that I want to put it here for you guys. So maintain a disciplined attitude with the King of Swords. Keep on working on whatever's bugging you, bothering you, burdening you, and uh, whatever you're trying to release from your life and whatever you're trying to create that's going to be better for you, keep that maintained as a main focus, okay? All right, Taurus, moving on here forward for you. Let's have a look here and see what you can expect throughout June. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you're continuing to stay getting to work. You're going to keep on working on yourself. Six of Pentacles showing up here, Justice here. I do see for some of you, um, you can be really working hard at your job right now or in your career right now. You might be in a space where you're really focusing on getting a raise, a promotion. I do see for some of you, you do feel like you deserve more. So this is the time to make sure you're asking for it. I get that vibe here for you, Taurus, where it's like, if you feel like you deserve more, you should ask for more. I think that letting somebody know that you know you're worth more and expressing your worth is probably going to grant you more abundance. So if you know you're worthy and you're due for an upgrade in payment or you're due for a raise or due for a higher promotion, if you've been busting your butt and you know you deserve this, don't be afraid to reach out to the managers, to the bosses and say, hey, look, this is what I would like. I think that it is a favorable time here for you to get those uh, types of upgrades. So I do feel like it's a favorable time for a promotion, a favorable uh, time for somebody to hear you out and take action on what it is you're bringing to the table. So that's cool. Do see a lot of work opportunity showing up here. Um, if you are a Taurus that feels like you need more out of a relationship, if you feel that you need more of an effort coming through from somebody else, don't be afraid to mention that either. I think that being open and honest and having raw communication about your feelings and what you feel like you deserve to somebody is more than likely going to grant it, you know? So there's no harm in asking. That's what I want to say here for you guys in June, okay? Uh, what other information do we have for what Taurus can expect throughout June? We have here the Four of Pentacles, and we have here the Sun card. Yeah, I get the feeling here, Taurus, where it's like, if you want happiness, don't hold back, okay? If you want to create more positive situations in your life, continue to be expressive. The more you relay what you're worthy and deserving of, the more what you're worthy and deserving of is going to start to find you. Beautiful. I like that. All right, Taurus, let's move on forward. Let's see what's going to be the most important message Taurus needs to hear coming into June 2023. What's the most important message for Taurus throughout June? We have the Ace of Wands in the upright, not in the reverse. Uh, we have here the High Priestess, and we have here the Devil. Ace of Wands is a lot of fire, creativity, passion. It is an energy of new beginnings and new paths. High Priestess card, intuition, connecting with your higher self, connecting with what feels right, listening to what your highest wisdom has to offer. And the devil is the energy of being stuck, trapped, and caught up in negative moments and negative instances. I really feel like June is a month where you're rising above a lot of negativity. I wanted to mention, right, we talked about the star card being a card of healing, and I feel like a lot of Victorians are just not phased by much anymore. You're really not phased because you've gone through the ringer enough to know that I'm okay. I'm strong. I've dealt with everything I've needed to. I've healed from a lot. Like I'm in a position where not a lot can hurt me, but I still feel like you need to watch out for the devil because coming into the month of June, there are still people and negative forces that are trying to windle their way into your life. Kind of like the person we talked about, how somebody's using deceptive methods to try to be a part of your life again. And you're definitely not giving much of a shit about this individual because who the heck, you know, why would I respect somebody using negative methods to find their way back to me, right? So at the end of the day, neither here nor there with this person, I do feel like there still are negative forces at work trying to manifest in your life. And the universe here says you have to remain strong. You have to remain to look to your strength. You have to remain to focus on things that make you happy to really focus on what is the right path for me. So don't get caught up by the dark forces or the negative forces. 
because I do feel like there are some distractions trying to come in here from you to knock you off your course or knock you off your path. Stand tall, listen to your highest wisdom, and keep progressing forward, okay? So don't get deterred here by any negative forces that may try to come in as a distraction. All right. All right, Taurus. Moving on forward from that, let's have a look here and see what the universe has in store for Taurus in terms of advice. We have here the Wheel of Fortune. We have here the Eight of Wands. And lastly for you, we have here the Seven of Pentacles. Beautiful. The universe here says it's time to plant seeds. Seven of Pentacles. When you plant a seed, when you nurture it, when you water it, when you feed it, you have beautiful, beautiful plants that grow, beautiful crops that grow, and inevitably, you can have a really awesome harvest, depending on how well you took care of those seeds you planted. So, universe is definitely saying it is the time right now to start going for things you want. I did keep getting an energy Taurus. If you happen to be more expressive, if you know you're deserving of more, ask for more. Don't be afraid. All right, so keep being expressive of what you know you deserve, and keep planting seeds, because it's a great time to watch those seeds grow. I really do feel like you're going to see a lot of growth coming in here for Torians that continue to focus on their path and that continue to actually do what they set out to do. I feel like, um, I don't know why I'm hearing commitment issues. I don't, I'm not trying to say that you have commitment issues, but I think that if you were to fully commit to something this month, you will see success from it. So if you're starting your business, if you're trying to expand your career at work, if you're trying to expand your relationship, if you really, really invest in it, you're going to see a positive return. You're going to see a fortunate return here with the Wheel of Fortune showing up as well. So that's another thing I want to mention here for Taurus, okay? All right, before we move to the outcome, is there any other closing statements here? Any other information for Taurus that they need to hear? I feel like we didn't discuss too, too much, or maybe we did and I'm just not realizing it, but is there any other information for Taurus that they need to hear? Now, Ace of Pentacles came out, which is a card that represents an opportunity. What would this opportunity entail for Taurus? Some of you I am seeing an engagement coming through. If so, congratulations. We have here the Six of Cups. We have here the Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. A lot about your past, too. I do see that there can be an opportunity here to clear your past, to clear the air with somebody you have history with. Um, so you might notice in the month of June, if you have any sort of situations going on with past people, it could be a very opportune time to clear the air with individuals you have history with. It doesn't look like reconciliation. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles says you're going to go your own route anyways, Taurus. You're going to be on your own path. So despite clearing the air with people from the past and letting go of that stuff, you're not going to progress forward with them and have new beginnings. So if there's any sort of bad blood to settle, that'll be getting settled here coming into the month of June. Is there any other information for Taurus that we have left over? We have here the Nine of Swords. We have here the Strength. And lastly, we have here the Three of Wands showing up here as well. Yeah, I think that there is a situation, Taurus, where people are not currently connected with you. And I feel like, you know what's happening, Taurus? I think a lot of people are also coming to a point of regret. Individuals who have either deceived you before, backstabbed you, casted you out, walked away from you. In June, it's interesting how you're starting to see those people really regret those decisions. I'm starting to see that become something here too in today's reading for you. It's like people are really starting to regret any sort of the disconnections that they've had with you. So if it's like an old friend who maybe backstabbed you, they might start coming to the term here or the realization here that maybe that was the really wrong choice to do. And I think people are going to start to realize how much they miss you. Strength card here, not being in your presence. It could be a Leo. There might be a Leo who really misses you, but people who are far away from you, it's like, man, I wish I can go back to that time because now without Taurus, I'm not so happy at all. So whether it's an ex friend and ex lover, or just anybody you've had falling outs with or people who have done you wrong. I get the feeling here of like, I'm hearing like repent, like people are trying to repent and rebuild a relationship with you. Some may not reach out to you because they're scared to is what I'm seeing too, Taurus. So if there are people who want to repent or get in good terms with you again, they might not be reaching out because they're nervous too. And for the people that do reach out to you, I think that the interesting part is like the people that you would probably make up with won't reach out, but the people you don't want to make up with do. That's an interesting theory, but that's what's showing up as well, Taurus. So for the people that you don't want to make up with, they end up reaching out to you. For the people that you probably would make up with, they're just too scared to reach out. 
So yeah, interesting vibe, but that's what I'm seeing showing up here too for some of you guys as well. All right, let's close out your reading though. What's gonna be the overall outcome here for Taurus throughout June, 2023? And would you look at that? We got here a Three of Cups, baby, okay? I like it, I like it a lot. So Three of Cups, it's a joyous time, it's a joyous month. Really, to put it bluntly, Taurus, you ain't got no time for any fuckery this month. That is the way I would put it. You have no time for no fuckery whatsoever. I do feel like some people are trying to bring in some fuckery. But as long as you keep your head down, you do you, you focus on your path, you continue to remember how strong you are after everything you've already been through, you're going to be a-okay. Like I said, I do see somebody here still trying. I keep hitting my microphone, sorry. By the way, I do see somebody here still trying to push your buttons. But remember, they don't have power if you don't give them a reaction. So with that being said, if people are trying to push your buttons this month and push the bull, you don't need to unleash the bull. They don't need a reaction out of you because inevitably when you give them nothing, they have nothing to go off of. OK, um, I do want to say here for Taurus as well. It's going to be a month here where you're clearing away a lot of problems. I think that you are very focused right now on creating more abundance in your life. And I think it's going well for you. So continue to focus on that. Continue to clear away any of the negative things you need to. Um, I do feel like you're on a good path here right now and things are improving for you and things are getting better. Uh, so keep planting your seeds, keep watering your crops, keep providing nutrients here, and you're going to have a great harvest in the next few months to come. As long as you stay focused on more positivity, letting go of the shit that doesn't serve, not only are you looking at a fantastic month, but you're also looking at a fantastic next couple months here as well. Okay. All right, though, Taurus, I love you all so much. Thank you for stopping by and spending time with me. I hope you did enjoy your June 2023 tarot reading. Of course, if it resonates, do let me know down in the comments down below. But guys, have a lovely day and a great rest of June, and I will catch you all in the next video. Much love and have yourselves a good one. Peace.